Auto rotation is a technique used by maple seeds to disperse over large distances. Using this mechanism, Samara auto rotating wings, saw, could be dropped from an aircraft in a form that consists of many wings attached radially to a unified hub. This collaborative formation allows it to navigate better. Once closer to the ground, they separate into single wings, carrying small electronic payloads, heading towards each final destination to carry out unique missions. Using MATLAB Simulink, two, three and four wing variants are tested for stability. A small disturbance is applied and the settling time is observed. SAW 2 takes substantially longer to settle. The models are also tasked to follow an Archimedean spiral. The radius increases while the radial velocity remains constant. This tests for controllability and stability as lateral speed increases. SAW 2 spins out of control while SAW 3 and SAW 4 are close in performance. The prototypes are equipped with servos. Each servo individually controls the pitch angle of each wing. Hence, cyclic and collective pitch controls are achieved without the need for a swash plate. A vertical wind tunnel is specially designed and built to test the models in perpetual freefall. A 3D printed ball joint allows the prototype to pitch, roll and change altitude as it spins. The tip path plane, TPP, is the plane connecting the tip of the wings as they rotate. A human controller is able to control the pitch and roll of the TPP and altitude of SAW 3 using a handheld device. This is achieved by the use of OptiTrack cameras to track the exact orientations of the controller's plane and the SAW 3's TPP in real time. Closed loop PID control is applied to get the desired response. Step response is a good way to see how fast a system can react to control input. Here, SAW 4 responds to a step input of TPP and altitude. SAW 3 is dropped from about 27 meters. Once stable auto rotation is achieved, cyclic pitch is applied to enable it to move in one direction with respect to the onboard electronic compass. A good lateral displacement is achieved by the time it reaches the ground. This test is repeated several times to ensure repeatability.